Okay, guys, um, as you can see, um, I'm actually going to work from now on because I'm running out of time. I'm actually going to work straight out of the textbook for the next videos instead of um, working out of notebook as I used to. Um, okay, so we're in chapter 8 and we are busy now with force. Okay, so in the previous uh, chapters we looked at isolated and closed systems okay when we considered our conservation laws isolated meaning what there's no momentum transfer across the boundary and closed systems meaning there is no energy transfer okay however we do have uh, situations where these systems interact with the surroundings okay and these and and when this happens this is due to something called a force. Okay, I think we all know about this. Uh, these are systems which are not isolated and there's a momentum transfer across the boundary. Okay, but now how does force, let me just click there, how does force relate to momentum? Okay, so momentum and force. So consider the little example that they, sh that they speak about here is that, say now you're on your bike or you're moving and you impact a wall, okay, a concrete wall. So your change in momentum is what? It is equal to, it's a function of your final velocity and your initial velocity, right? That's your, your delta P, your change in momentum is a function of your change in velocity. Um, so your momentum change is a certain amount and your energy change is also a function of velocities, right? Your energy, your kinetic energy change is half mv final squared minus half mv initial squared. The point I'm trying to make is that you hit this concrete wall and what happens? Your momentum changes and your kinetic energy changes. Now what happens if instead of hitting a concrete wall, you hit a mattress, okay, you hit a mattress that is resting against the concrete wall. So the concrete wall is padded, okay. So what is your choice? If you are, if you are heading for the concrete wall, are you going to choose the concrete wall or the mattress resting against the concrete wall? Obviously, you're going to choose the mattress. Why is that? Because in your experience, you know that when you hit the mattress, the force of impact is smaller than when you hit the concrete wall. Okay? I hope you understand that. But now, this is the thing, is that when you hit the concrete wall, your momentum change is exactly the same as when you hit the mattress. Your momentum change is the same. And your kinetic energy is the change is also the same whether you hit the concrete wall or whether you hit the mattress. But now what is different? What is different between hitting a concrete wall and hitting a mattress? What is different is that hitting a mattress, okay, and hitting the concrete is that the mattress changes your momentum over a longer time interval. Your momentum changes over a longer time interval. Uh, the momentum change therefore occurs at a slower rate. Okay? That's why you want to hit the mattress rather than the concrete wall. Because the, the mattress causes your momentum to decrease at a slower rate. Okay? So what is a force then? A force is related to momentum, but it is momentum over time, basically. It is the time rate of change in the object's momentum. Okay? So, if, if the time is, if the, if the object's momentum changes over a longer time, then the force is smaller. If the momentum changes over a shorter time, then the force is larger. Okay? Does that make sense? I hope so. Okay, see you in the next one.